Today we're making pumpkin bread. Nick, please, I'm begging you. You're gonna I'm fuck begging. up this recipe. How? Let go. Am I, gonna... I want you to put four eggs in here. Why are they brown? <laughs> it's like talking to an alien. What am I doing then? You already helped. I cracked four eggs. Let me Give me the knife, Nick, Britney Spears. Let go. Give me the knife. Let go. If you chop one more, are you kidding me right now? This is a brand new oven, see? So this is the first time I'm using this oven because I usually cook, I don't bake. It smells great! Is Anyways, this your intro to the video? Why don't you watch your goddamn mouth, okay? Mr. I did Nick's YouTube channel, which is coming out soon, and he sat there, got a mute this will, for 15 video, minutes. Our video will already be out. Well, then they can see how bad you are. Okay, so it's going to be a big Hi, video. everybody. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're making pumpkin bread. Do you like pumpkin bread? I love it. Because I'm basic. Thank you. Next! I don't like banana bread. I feel that bananas need to mind their own business. See, I like banana bread. I like bananas. I don't like. Banana I don't think banana things. bread doesn't taste like bananas. Um, There's cinnamon in there. And they're, like, yeah, but the problem is, they're always like the banana lingers there. You I probably... once made banana bread over COVID. Okay, so he but made I didn't banana have... bread. He didn't have flour or eggs, the binding ingredients that you need. But I did for substitute. Banana bread. What was your substitute? Oil and baking soda or something. Vegans bake, and they don't have flour or eggs. Well, why would flour not be vegan? What do you think flour is? <laughs> um, from the ground. <laughs> Did you grow up in like bumblefuck no man's land? Like you're surrounded by farm? I didn't grow it myself or do it. I wasn't what, on the farm. Where, where do you think shucking hay? Where do you think flour? <laughs> what do you think flour is? <laughs> do you really not have any idea? Grain. Is it? So today we're making pumpkin bread. Now this is a recipe that I have had since I was in kindergarten. This? Right? Yeah, in my school, Patton Elementary School, Arlington Heights, Illinois, we sang a song called Pumpkin Bread. Sing it. Pumpkin bread, pumpkin bread, pumpkin bread, pumpkin bread. Which I think is the Veggie Tales theme. That was the stupidest and, song. Remember ever. Veggie Tales? They couldn't give you any other verse, just two words. Well, then we went over the ingredients. It was like eggs, flour, sugar. Yeah. So we're gonna do our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients. Wet? I thought you said you could bake, Nick. I love to bake. Okay, okay so you know how you have you separate well. your wet ingredients and your dry ingredients? You don't mix them all at the same time. You do the wet first. You don't. And Nick, <laughs> this is why your Christmas cookies did you really look like draw that? Cookie. Yes, I'm gonna. What do you mean? Did I really draw that? All of my paintings are around and you the house. Typed that out. My mother typed it out. The same recipe when, when I was in you kindergarten. Were in kinder yes. And then when I was in fifth grade, I drew the pumpkin. So we're gonna start with our wet ingredients. So we're gonna put all of our wet ingredients in here. And what do we consider wet? <sighs> Things that are not dry. So egg is technically dry until you open it. You're an idiot. An egg is wet. <laughs> what? Fucking recipe calls for the whole egg. How confused are you that you think people for eggs are just chucking <laughs> eggs with the shell in? Anyways, we're gonna start with the wet ingredients. No, that's for the dry ingredients. We're gonna start with the wet ingredients. They're gonna go in here. I want you to put four eggs in here. Why are they brown? It's like talking to an alien. Spots? Yes! Have you seen an egg before? This chicken Have you has, any... period. <laughs> We're gonna use one cup of corn oil. So when you're doing wet ingredients, it's best to measure in this kind of a measuring cup. Okay, do you know where the one cup is there? Is it where the number one is? I don't know, you didn't know that birds laid eggs two seconds ago. I didn't know that they had periods either. Milliliters. One cup, right here. Okay, one cup. yeah, I found it eventually. It has to be on the, Jesus, Nick. Jesus. I thought you said you bake. You spill, I'll never speak. Okay, well then I'm gonna purposefully spill. That was a perfect pour from the jump. You could never. Now sugar is added not into wet. is added into this. So we are but going. But it's not wet. We're gonna be using three cup of sugar. Even though it's not wet. Yes, but sugar you usually mix in with the eggs. Why? Just, just I'm gonna do step aside. I don't trust you with the sugar. So Nick, what are you gonna be for Halloween this year? Well, I think we're doing a group costume and we're all going as Pokemon. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna be slutty or realistic. You didn't wanna be James and Jesse? Now why are you putting in there? The what's in there? Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna put the pumpkin in there and these in there and then add the sugar last. Do you understand? I don't. Okay. Okay, here. 
Uh, Jessine games are fine. They're just not fun costumes. I'm going as slutty squirrel. I have the hat, the turtle shell, and then I'm wearing a thong. A thong? <laughs> In public? Yeah, why not? No one's gonna know it's me. Well, I'm not wearing a thong. I have a little bit more respect for myself. So you're saying people who wear thongs don't have respect for themselves? No, I'm saying you don't. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm a comedian, Nick. What was your favorite costume growing up? I was always a ghost. Ask my cousins. I was a ghost like every time. You know what it was? Because it was the closest thing to wearing a dress, honestly. What about you? When you were a Christmas tree? Boo! Okay. I'm not like you. Also, I could feel you creeping up on me. All right, so we're gonna put our pumpkin in. How are we opening this? You know. I'll do it. I don't trust you. To oh, open I can it. do it. If you ruin this, I'm gonna ruin you. You've already ruined me. You've already ruined me. Okay, this is Libby's pumpkin mix. Can I help you, Nick? I, I don't think anyone can help me. What's something that you would bake with your mom when you were a kid? Nothing. You seem to really enjoy baking, though. Because I have a sweet tooth. Right. I did last year Thanksgiving make pumpkin bars. Yeah, they looked interesting. They were good. And every Christmas I make cum cookies. How much are you supposed to be putting in there? Two cups. Well, that's not enough. Well, that's why I'm going to put in more, Nick. There we go. That's about two cups. So we're going to put in the pumpkin first. Do you have a KitchenAid, Nick? I don't. I have one of those hand ones. You didn't know that there was a difference between wet and dry ingredients when you cook? I didn't know there was a difference between brown and white eggs. <laughs> All right, I need two thirds cup of water. We're gonna start by mixing our pumpkin. It is locked. Pop, lock, and drop it. And I'm gonna start bringing in our eggs and our oil. All over the side of the thing. Let that mix in. Okay. What, what am I doing then? You already helped. Okay, so we're gonna... I cracked four eggs. <laughs> I was just rewatching the Flavor of Love is honestly oh, one it's of my all-time favorite shows, and I was just so rewatching the episode of season two. He brings her back. There is no better cinema. She deserved an Emmy. She deserved an Oscar. She deserved a Golden Globe. They go down the line. They're all dressed up, and she was like, "Very nice. Your shading's off." And she gets the buck wild, and she goes, "You look like a fairy princess who resides over the pits of hell." <laughs> We have our wet ingredients, they're all mixed together. So now we're gonna do our dry ingredients. So Nick, can you please do three cups of flour? A great way to level it off is when you go. Or you could just do it by eye. No, Nick, this has to be exact. The thing with baking. It's exact. I'm gonna kill, Nick, it has to be exact. I will stab you with this. Do it. <laughs> With this butter, get out of my way! No, stop. That's Nick, one. That's okay. You're not doing this. Get nope. out of here, Nick. You, please, I'm begging you. You're gonna I'm fuck up this you. recipe. How? Let go. Am I gonna? Let go. I can do it. Give no, me the knife. Just, let me give show me the knife, Nick. Britney Spears. Let go. Give me the knife. <laughs> let go. Let me just show you. Can you let go for a second? Okay. You can't just dump that in. You gotta even it off. There. Now that's one. Yeah, I got it. You got me over here lining up like the Coke. It's the wrong side, Nick. I can do it. You can. You're struggling right now. Come on, Brittany. Show us your knife skills. One and a half teaspoon of salt. And am I allowed to do that? Or have you ever baked before? I, Nick, I know what flour is. You thought moments ago that flour was not vegan friendly. I still don't. So now one teaspoon of, of what? of nutmeg. Is that TBS or TSP? Take it out. It's teaspoon. I'm not an idiot. If I see you fucking chop with that butter knife one more time, just I'm gonna chop you're, your you're arteries. You're gonna put too much in and then it's gonna taste like shit. Like, God, Nick, you are... There are homeless people and you just wasted all that nutmeg. Well, talk to queer feminist. Okay. Oh yeah, I am. So, right now. one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, here, I'll work with you, okay? Do it so that we're not wasting it all. Okay. Here. There you See go. how that worked? How much was that? One teaspoon? Yes, and you said one and a half. Yes. I would sooner throw myself out a window than ever do this. I'll again. be jumping first. Come on, is, help this her. A, is this a half? <laughs> Next. <laughs> Two teaspoons of baking soda. One. <laughs> If you chop one more, are you kidding me right now? Okay, just put it in. Jesus. I mean, I know it has to be exact in baking, but we're not fucking up cooking bit, meth up. here. One. Nick. <gasps> just one. What is it wrong with enough. you? Nick, it what? It wasn't What enough. are you doing? It needed more cinnamon. Nick. It wasn't enough. This is the problem. Baking has to be exact. This, this asshole. is the problem. 
I hate you, Nick. You want me to show you a trick? No. Imagine if we were attached by the shoulders, Nick. <laughs> it's like in that scene in Hocus Pocus where the cat goes up to the old village man and he's like, away you beast, <laughs> away! Okay, I think this is good. Thoroughly mixed. Thoroughly modern Millie. Another musical I've not seen. Here we go, let's try it. It's good. Could use some cinnamon. Going to greased and floured loaf pan. Okay. I, I'm really gonna be mad. Did you put more in? Nick, I'm really gonna be mad. You didn't put any more in. Greasing our pan, take your butter. Where's your Pam spray? No, I'm using, this is like Pam spray. I could have been done in three shakes of a leg. Well, I don't want Pam oil, spray. I wanted butter. And then we're putting flour on it. What? You're allowed to add more flour, but I can't add more cinnamon. You're an idiot. It's so that it doesn't stick to the side, Nick. I thought Nick were filming something and he refuses to get out of the way. Can you move aside, please? Yep. Oh, I'll move. <laughs> Looks right. So, you're gonna grease your pan and then you're gonna take some flour and you're just gonna move it around like this. This way, when it comes out, it won't stick. Nick, a little farther back, please. Could you do the same with cinnamon? You know that cinnamon's not vegan, right? Agree to disagree. You don't want me to pour it? No, not after how you've displayed. You don't fill it to the top, it will go over. Okay, that's good. Are you licking the bowl? Mm hmm Okay, we're gonna put it in to a 350 degree oven for, for one hour. What? So we'll be back. Here we are. We'll come over here, Nick. 87 hours later. It's and like that SpongeBob meme. Well, Five but, days later. It is a little gooey because we put too much in, but you know what? We're gonna let it cool off. It's a little full. It is a little full. I'm gonna just let this cool. Or where's the, what they do on Bake Off? <laughs> He's gonna be winded. His arms are gonna be sore for a week. I'm tired. <laughs> Pumpkin vagina. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a disaster. <laughs> You're not doing anything to help. <laughs> okay, well here we are. We put a little too much in the pan. It smells good. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna taste great. Oops, I cut off some of the side. Ooh. Should we do it like Paul Hollywood? Mm -hmm. Looks good. Okay. Mm. Here, Nick. Thank you. Less porous at the bottom, a little stodgy. You just said that because we just watched a Great British Bake Off. Now shut up. Eat it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like that the outside of it is like kind of crispy and then the inside's gooey. It is good. I did a good job. This took us 12 hours. Thank you, everybody. If you like pumpkin bread, it's a great recipe. Tis the season. Nick, you have a YouTube channel coming out, so why don't you tell us? Everyone can follow me at... Uh, Chris will flash it on the screen. And for me, <laughs> I'm on the Al Dente Tour. We still have tickets for Kansas City and Minneapolis. So go to MateoLaneComedy.com. Nick Smith 09.